let's check out another fascinating collection of Mafia photos. I'm James Gladwish and welcome to OC Shorts, bringing you detailed historical snapshots of the American Mafia and other organised crime. Feel free to subscribe if you like that sort of thing. Today, we're going to take a quick look at some rarely seen Mafia photos. First up is a photo of longtime mob boss Joseph Bonanno, seen here towards the end of his long life. Bonanno was the boss of the crime family that still bears his name. He took over as family boss in 1931 and ran the family for over 30 years until he was forced into retirement in the mid to late 1960s after a civil war in his own family. This image and many other historical mob photos was found on the excellent Facebook page Friends of Ours which is well worth checking out. Joseph Bonanno retired to Tucson, Arizona, where he had long held a residence. This next photo of Joseph Bonanno shows him making a toast on March 21st, 1999, celebrating St. Joseph Feast Day in Palomino Restaurant in Tucson, Arizona. Next is another photo of an aging Bonanno with the actor Ben Gazzara. In 1993, Gazzara actually portrayed Bonanno, in the movie Love, Honour and Obey, The Last Mafia Marriage. Bonanno would pass away in 2002 at the age of 97. Despite being retired in Arizona, there are FBI files that indicate that for a period of time while in supposed exile in Arizona, Bonanno still continued his criminal career. In this next photo, we see former Genovese crime family boss Vincent Chingiganti sunbathing in his younger years. As is famously known, years before Giganti rose to power, he tried to murder mob boss Frank Costello on the orders of Vito Genovese. Frank Costello can be seen here in 1951, attending the world featherweight boxing fight between Willie Pep and Sandy Sadler. On the far left of the photo is Sugar Ray Robinson, who some consider to be the greatest boxer of all time. In this photo, we see Colombo crime family enforcer Leonardo Passafaro in police custody in 1968. Passafaro is better known to the world as Lenny Montana. He would famously play the role of Luca Brazzi in The Godfather Part 1. In the next image, we see a photo of 20-year-old Carmine Galante. He was arrested after being involved in a gun battle with police, following an attempted payroll robbery. A police officer and a young girl were wounded in the shootout. Galante would later rise in the underworld to become a feared and powerful figure in the Bonanno crime family. Here we have a selection of some lesser seen photos of Salvatore Lacagna, better known as Charlie Luciano. This first one shows him walking in New York in the mid-1930s. This next one is from years later, while in Italy after his deportation. And another from his time in Italy, this time with film producer Barnett Glassman. And here is a photo from the 1940s, with Luciano attending a boxing match. Sat next to him is Italian boxer Antonio Nino Morabito at the Volmaro Stadium in Naples. Up next is a few photos of Lucchese family soldier and former Gemini crew member Joey Testa. The first photo shows Testa sat front row, second from the left. His brother, Patrick Patty Testa, is in the back row on the far right. Patty was the Lucchese family mobster who was murdered in 1992. In the next image, we see Joey Tester after a spot of fishing. And another photo, this time with some relatives. Tester crouched down in the white vest. And finally, in this section, a photo of a young Tester. Joey Tester was famously released from prison earlier this year, after spending over 30 years behind bars. In this photo, we see Jewish mobster Maya Lansky, walking Millicent Siegel down the aisle on her wedding day. 
Millicent's father, Benjamin Bugsy Siegel, was a close friend of Lansky and had been murdered in 1947. The wedding took place at the Park Lane Hotel in New York in 1950, three years after her father's murder. Interestingly, the original wedding album went on auction last year and was sold for $4,400 in July 2023. In this photo from the early 1960s, we see Genevieve Soldier turned informant Joseph Valacci. On his left side, Valacci is displaying the scars that he received over 30 years before when stabbed in Sing Sing prison by a man called Pete Latemper, an assault documented in the book The Valacci Papers. The book reads, All of a sudden, I felt a sort of sting. That's the best I can describe it under my left arm. I looked behind me and I saw this Latempa with a knife in his hand. By now, Angelo had come out of the toilet and was standing there, looking at me with his eyes bugging out. He was trying to tell me that I was cut, but he was stuttering so much that I couldn't make out what he was saying. I put my hand down under my arm where he was pointing and I kind of felt it going right inside me. Then I saw all the blood. Believe me, it was all over the place so naturally I went after La Tempa, and he started to yell how bad I was cut, hoping I would forget him and worry about myself. But I just kept going, and when I caught him, I let him have a couple of good raps on the mouth. He was smaller than me, and I would have killed him with my bare hands, but by this time my knees were getting weak, and he ran out. Here we see a rare photo of former Lucchese crime family acting boss turned informant, Little Audiarco. Next up, we have a couple of lesser seen photos of Colombo crime family boss Carmine Persico. First, a rarely published mugshot. And in this photo, we see Persico with his brother, Alphonse Alleyboy Persico. Alleyboy, for a time, was a consigliere of the Colombo family. Here is a rarely seen photo of Alleyboy, allegedly with his wife Doris. In this next image, we see Carmine Persico stood next to northeastern Pennsylvania mob boss Russell Buffalino. To the left of Buffalino is future Colombo family heavyweight Andrew Mush Russo. Staying with Russell Buffalino, here is a rare photo of him in his younger days. In this next fascinating photo, we have Russell Buffalino on the left. Next to him is Andrew Mush Russo. Frank Sinatra is in the centre, followed by Colombo family boss Thomas DeBella, and on the far right is the singer Tony Bennett. I hope you found those photos interesting. Thanks for watching.